What is up? What's good and what's cracking? Good people, YouTube lane. It's your boy Gates McCoy, and uh, I think everybody remembers this little classic, the original throwback number one, not number two, three, four, five through fifty. Number one, X Mega Man number one. Uh, for the regular Nintendo Classic Throwback Whip, I'm your boy Gates McCoy with Gates McCoy TV. And what I would do is I'd like to start by giving a shout out to my buddy Death. Uh, I was rocking my Gates McCoy t-shirt that you guys seen me rocking in one of my other videos that I had printed up for myself. And he has bought an awesome Gates McCoy TV t-shirt that I have coming his way. Little does he know it. Uh, my buddy Death, I've played online games with him. He's the leader of my guild. Uh, I was a co-leader for a while, amongst other people. Um, he comes from a great group of cast of characters I've hung out with for about 20 years. And he's a really awesome guy, and I appreciate the support. Uh, so let's give a shout-out to my buddy Death for buying the Gates McCoy TV t-shirt. Much love, buddy. So now, further ado, let's get into the original Mega Man. Huh. I have slightly just cropped out the top of the screen for centering purposes, um, but these are the characters that they do offer us. We got Cutman, Gutsman, Iceman, Bombman, Fireman, and Electric Man. They're going to say Elect Man, but it's Electric Man. I think we all know what it is. Um... These aren't characters that you're picking because you play Mega Man. These are actually stages. When you get, when you complete these stages and beat these bosses, you obtain their powers. Uh, for instance, he has scissors on his head. Um, he's like a rock crusher. You'll get an ice ability, so on and so forth. Um, but I will go with Cut Man since he is first up. I think everybody remembers and loves Mega Man, especially the original. I'd have to say the original six. I think one through six was on Nintendo before Super Nintendo launched and then it switched platforms. Um, but I would have to say one through six Mega Man was the best for me. And uh, we're just going to try to take my time. Oh. Oh. Oh, Mega Man. I'm not doing so good. Oh. This little bastard. Uh, the Retron 3 controller, as you guys know, you hear me complain about it all the time. If you're not facing that sensor, you will pay the price. So I try to be as cautious as I can. It's just that the response for this is not quite how I'd want it. There we go. I feel a little bit of my health there. Make sure we take out any distractions. Um, I have not personally played X-Man 1, or, uh, not, why do I keep saying X-Man? I think it's because it's got the word man in it. Uh, I have not played the original Mega Man in, shit, I don't even know, damn, probably a good 20 years, I would have to say, um, the last time I think I played Mega Man was, uh, shit, I think maybe at a buddy's house, um, I think, he, I think I remember him buying some old school retro games and uh, or breaking out his old retro games is what I think it was. And I think this was one of them and I remember playing it. But it was a while back. I mean, come on, I'm getting old now. So to be able to play the original content, especially the game, no emulators, no filler or thriller. I mean, it's very rare that people even hold on to this stuff. And some of these Mega Men, they'll, they'll sell anywhere from 10 bucks to 200 bucks. Oh, shit. Uh, so the games act. Oh shit! So the games actually still hold their value. Somehow I've managed to fall all the way down like a jack wagon. God, the uh, response on this Retron Three. Uh, yeah, I got a, a, another YouTuber that I actually uh, talk to from time to time called Back in the Day Gamer. And uh, he uses the Retron 5, and his Retron 5, I believe he's gone through two or three of them so far. They keep burning out on him. And uh, I haven't quite had that problem with my Retron 3. The only problem I really noticed with the Retron 3 is the sensor for the controller, and that it has a tendency to be a little sensitive at times. Oh, 
Uh, when you're loading game, uh, if you guys remember the old school consoles like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Genesis, uh, we would blow inside the cartridges to get them to work and that they were very sensitive uh, considering the fact that the copper pins or the brass pins on the games can get, get dirty and sediment on them. Even one pin being kind of dirty will stop it from loading properly. Uh, I forget what the original point of that was, of me even saying that. Because I was sidetracked. Uh, so, yeah, I forget what the hell my original point was. I'm over here playing, trying to concentrate. I don't want to die. Damn. Fucking little bastard. I'm over here trying to concentrate. They're all over me. Oh, yeah. Anyways, my original point was back in the day, Gamer, he's gone through the Retron 5, actually offers, uh, where you can play the Game Boy Advance and Super Famicom. It has a save state for it. So games that never had the ability to save, the Retron 5 allows you to save it. Back to my original point. I have not quite had any of these problems with my Retron 3. Um, like I said, just the, the, the sensors can be sensitive or the game's loading. Then that's kind of why I went into the rant about uh, the pins being clean. And other than that, my Retron 3 performs flawlessly. It allows me to play Super Nintendo, uh, Nintendo and Sega Genesis games, no problem. Um, I would have to assume, if you're not using it a lot, um, some of these people that have these Retrons really do use them a lot. Uh, they try to put a lot of hours in on them. Um, and I think that's overall what really kind of corrupts it and, 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 oh shit, corrupts it and, and makes them burn out. I just don't think these systems, due to the venting and the aeration of the motherboard, I just think they burn up too quick, and uh, that's maybe a reason why they end up having problems, <clears throat> along with cheap parts. Uh, I wouldn't say that the plastic and the parts are of the highest quality, uh, but it is what it is. There we go. We're getting a little bit better. Not sure what those are, but I don't really give a shit. Yeah, a little bit of a delay there. It drives me crazy. <clears throat> Hopefully the, the video and audio is on point for you guys. It's as good as I'm going to get it. And uh, yeah, the game's definitely awesome. Uh, the, the mechanics and the visual aesthetics of the game are actually pleasing. Uh, it does not feel clunky aside from my sensor on the controller. Uh, but the game itself plays good and looks awesome. Uh, Mega Man for Everybody is an instant classic. If you guys are getting into retro gaming or you enjoy retro gaming, uh, Mega Man is definitely a uh, game to play for sure. It does uh, offer a multitude of uh, play functions and styles once you start beating the bosses and collecting their superpowers. I'm all cautious because of the controller. Uh, overall, it's just fun to play. I've seen it coming. Oh, I've seen it coming. Such a delay. The delay is real, people. The delay is real. Uh, but overall, I'm not doing too bad. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying a trip down memory lane. I appreciate all the support. Anybody that does tune in. And if you don't tune in and you're just now tuning in, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you don't tune in and you don't like my content, well, my channel is not for you. I would suggest you go watch another channel. Uh, but for those of you that do like content and you're old like me and you like retro gaming and you like the variety of stuff that I show you, well, I appreciate it. Always appreciate it, always loved, and uh, always thankful. Uh, I do not care for the negative people, uh, people that don't enjoy retro gaming and content or they 
like to go to people's channels and be negative because it's uh, content maybe that they're not into. And then people can kiss my ass. When people suck anyways. Uh, and my like I said, my content's not for you. Oh, and Gates McCoy eats dirt. I am in the next section though, so I'll take that. Oh. And uh, I, I love old school retro games. I mean, this just takes takes me back to childhood. Jump. Ooh. And then there's nothing like going down a stroll down memory lane through my childhood when it comes to retro gaming, uh, my brothers, and uh, just sitting around arguing about playing and who's next and actually getting in physical fights over old school retro games. Oh. I mean, everybody remembers the little brother or the older brother or sister trying to hoard the game and uh, and play it and everybody fucking raging about it. Especially later on in the gaming years when it came to like Nintendo 64 and PlayStation. God, man, when, when gaming became a little bit more competitive, like the Super Mario Smash Brothers and the uh, 007 GoldenEye. God damn, dude. This fucking guy... Dude. Uh, yeah, but when it, when games became more competitive and and uh, people amped it up, that's how. It, that's when I. Oh shit! That's when I think uh, a lot of that raging started. No, don't hit me. Get out of there. Uh, but that's actually part of the fun. Of, oh no! It's part of the fun of gaming. Jesus. Uh, but if you guys don't know, I like to keep my videos around 5 to 15 minutes. I think that's long enough to go down a trip down memory lane, shall I say. Uh, this is Mega Man 1 for the say, no, for the NES. I see I'm getting my games mixed up. Uh, classic throwback whip, the NES. And I'm your boy, Gates McCoy. I'm going to keep playing. The adventure does not stop here. And until next time, later, people.